Natalie sneak away to vent. It's been the weirdest day. It's so weird. I absolutely hate it. I absolutely hate it today. Tara's perkiness has started to annoy them both. I think she's a very, very nice person. I really think she's a very nice person. I just have had a little too much. <laughs> they both feel she's trying too hard. I'm on! I'm full of personality. Yeah. You know, I'm, God. Shoot me. <laughs> John's team is shopping for decorations, and they're also getting tense. Tall ones Yeah, because, kind of cool it's, because the things will stick in there. There's not a lot in the tall ones. Shauna is being like a my way or the highway Gestapo. When so many people have a lot of different ideas and it's hard trying to find a compromise, and I think this is where you see um, the other sides of people's personalities coming out. Every single time I've tried to say something, I've always been interrupted. And I think it's because I'm the smallest girl on the team. I'm the shortest girl on the team. The what do you place. think about these instead of the dark blue ones? I like the dark blue. These girls are just like, like this. And I'm just like, well, hello. You know what I mean? I like it. So we know what we have to do when we get back. We just have yeah. to focus, be organized. Organize. While John and Suzanne's teams are buckling under the pressure, Jerry's team seems to be thriving on it. Why and punch! Woo! And Christy and Jessica have really bonded. I love Jessica. She's like my best friend in the world now. I mean, we've known each other for like two weeks, and just last night, she was just telling me that I, she feels like I'm one of her best friends, and I, I feel the same exact way. Now it's party time for all three teams. Hello! But what none of the girls realize is they won't be eating alone. Each coach was told to invite a guest who could help them learn something about the girls' personalities. John wanted to know how his girls respond to criticism, so he invited Cheryl, who organizes parties for events like the Oscars. She's going to give them some honest feedback. Would you like us to bring out the main course? I'll tell you what, what I'd love, first of all, is a beverage. Jerry wants her party to reveal the girl's humorous side, so she's invited comedian John Fugelsang. Monica, hi. Hi, I'm yeah. Jessica. Je nice well, you. God bless Come America. Hell yeah. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. I feel like Ringo. I'm just I glad to be here. Before Suzanne chooses which girls will face the American public, she wants to know how well informed they are. When the congresswoman walked in the room, oh my gosh, my heart dropped. I went in the kitchen, I was just like, I was burning up. My heart's going like 20 miles a minute. Me too, me too. I feel like she's gonna ask me something, like like the president's name, and I'm just gonna forget it. Like, <laughs> What would you change in the world, especially being a woman? Well, in the world, I mean, particularly in Afghanistan, when I hear about the way that they're treated, I can't even imagine, it. like, what they have to deal with. And it's just like, unbelievable how much we take for granted here. In the United States. I'm a little bit concerned about affirmative action because on the I one felt like every time I tried to say something, somebody else would try to talk over me. Carrie couldn't even get a word in. And finally I was just like, I'm not I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna I'm gonna say something because you're obviously not gonna let me talk. I've heard some people say that they've been Sometimes upset. when I get kind of in the competitive mode, I kind of I just kind of close out the outside world, maybe. I wasn't trying to be mean or anything. With John's team, Cheryl is not giving the girls a break. He wants to see how they'll react under pressure. Looks like your cutlery was set correctly, but my cutlery wasn't. You just didn't you bring me a fork and knife? Mm -hmm. But then when you brought it, you put down the knife and then you crossed over me to get me the fork. Yeah. When she showed up, we were just like, who is that? The vegetables have some nice spices, but a little overcooked. I did not have a good time because there was a tension in there and it was uncomfortable. I ate barely anything because I was just too uncomfortable. Jerry and her team are having fun with their surprise guest. We have a late for you. Oh, terrific. I, I, I had to promise not to make any jokes about getting laid to get the gig, oh, so <laughs> I won't do any, I promise. I just want to be able to get a real sense of what they're like in a very relaxed, sociable atmosphere. Well, first I wanted to be Miss America. <laughs> I did not bad. Just, I didn't that wasn't a job. Like, <laughs> I was really excited that we were gonna, I, 
to get to laugh at dinner. Coming up, the laughter stops. Ultimately, I'm competing for myself. In a final plea. I want to stand here in front of you completely vulnerable and, and naked. Before the devastation. I had an awesome time. Of the final cut. I'm going to excuse you, but I really am very, very proud of you. American history, believe it or not. I'm not just saying this, it's true. <laughs> but Tara uses the opportunity to sell herself. I also wanted to say that I was so proud because I, I wrote a novel actually last semester and I ended up taking a course to do so. There's only I... a certain amount of team spirit that you can have before you have to step back and say, ultimately I'm competing for myself. For her teammates, it's a real surprise. Oh, can I just say that I wrote a novel? I'm sorry, did we ask you that? Bless Tara's heart, I think she was really trying a bit too hard. And where is it? It is waiting to be published. Okay. When I get a spare minute. <laughs> <laughs> I totally think I underestimated her. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I mean, obviously it's a competition, you know? I, I was surprised. For Jerry's girls, competing against each other is the furthest thing from their minds as they talk about their first loves. Actually, there was one boy I liked all through middle school and high school, and, and junior year, he finally noticed me. It was the best moment of my life. <laughs> They're not scared to open up to Jerry. I've always been in a lot of serious relationships, but relationships kind of scare me off because my parents are divorced. For Christy, it was a learning experience. I dated this guy, and he was the bad guy in high school. Like, yeah. all of my teachers actually literally took me aside and were like, don't date this guy. And all they did more attractive. was, of course. For Monica, it was an all-American experience. Did yes. you make out in the back of a car with him? Yes, we okay. made out in the back of a car. Yeah. We, um, oh Mind. my god! In John's team, the conversation starts off light. I was always the tall tomboy kid when you know all the other girls were jumping rope i was playing basketball and beating up people <laughs> then they move on to more difficult subjects i've always been criticized for what i've wanted to do i've always been criticized for my goals and my dad is the only one that's supported me in what i wanted to do it was real hard growing up with a, a cop as your father there was a lot of pressure there for shauna some personal issues are just too hard to talk about not going to be a waterfall. Oh, yes. um, my mom passed away. And she was my second mom. And it was, I've never ever dealt with death before. It's been a long and difficult road for the girls. Since day one, the coaches have watched from their first performance to intimate conversations. They've made lasting friendships, got to know their coaches, and become part of a team. What is the biggest surprise to me is how immensely fond I've grown of the girls. Now the coaches have an agonizing decision to make. They will send their two strongest girls straight through to the finals, where they will be judged by you, the American public. But for the remaining two, there's bad news they will be put on probation. Probation is the final chance for these girls to persuade their coach to choose them to continue on to the finals. They'll have just 12 hours to prepare a speech to convince their coach that they are the All-American girl. I've had to make a lot of difficult decisions along the way, but I think obviously tonight is the most difficult. This is just diabolical. It is so tough. Jerry is the first coach to tell her girls. Monica's personality caught Jerry's eye on the very first day. I have to say, straight away I can tell you, you've got great personality. I'm not going to string it out. I'm just going to okay, tell you what I thought. Fine. I really want you on my team. Hey, you made it. Oh, my God. 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 Thank you so, so much. Jerry's had concerns about Christy from the start. I get the impression I'm going to be totally straight with you that you've never had to try. She's hoping now that her efforts have paid off. How you doing? Oh, my heart's beating kind of fast. It's OK. <laughs> OK, first of all, I have to be totally honest with you. I'll tell you how I feel. Out of all the girls in this show, you have grown the most. 
You really, really have. That's, that's good to hear. But I'm going to put you on probation. Okay. All right? What I want you to do is prove to me from not only your mouth, from your heart, why you think you are the all-American girl, why you want to be on my team. All right? Okay. She's just trying to get to the root of me and the core of me and the real me. And I think I just need to show what that is. Kira's up next. She performed best in the obstacle course. But is that enough for Jerry? You've really supported the other girls. And to me, that is what being an all-American girl is about. So that's what I'm so proud to say. I really want you on my team. Oh. You're free to <laughs> Monica and Kira are the two girls from Jerry's team to make it to the finals. And finally, it's Jessica's turn. In the last round, Jerry was surprised about the quality of Jessica's voice, but still has reservations about her. I really still believe there's a barrier that I want to be knocked down. Okay. And I so I'm going to put you on probation. Okay. And so that just basically gives you one last chance right. to just show me, show me, you know, what you've got. Christy's on probation, and so is her roommate and best friend, Jessica. Only one of them will go on to the next round. Coming up, half our girls reach the final stages. Holy I'm sorry, I have to cuss on camera right now. But there's devastation for the rest. My heart just is killing me. As they're given one final chance to stay in the competition. I really, truly believe that, that I have what it takes. American girl. Jerry has made her decision. Monica and Kira are already through to the finals of All American Girl. Jessica and Christy have been put on probation. Now it's decision time for Suzanne. First up is Natalie. But tonight you handled yourself very well. I was pleased with the way you spoke up with the Congresswoman. I was pleased the way you spoke up with, you know, the girls. And I'm passing you on to the next show. And I'm, I'm happy. Thank you so much. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Okay, oh, I love you. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to be going on to the next round. I'm really excited. I'm just starting to love Suzanne more and more every day. Next, it's Allie's turn. And she didn't even think she would make it this far. I don't want to leave. And I'm afraid I'm going to leave today. I'm very happy with what I've been seeing. And I think you're doing really well. And I like that you spoke up. And I like that you're being more cheerful. <laughs> and so, congratulations, you're on to the studio show. Are you serious? I'm serious. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. I love you all. Oh my god, oh my god, I thought it was my information. Holy I'm sorry, I have to cuss on camera right now. Suzanne has had concerns about Carrie's assertiveness from the outset. Right now, I just feel like you're, you're holding something back. I think there were some times tonight where you just didn't, you know, sort of act as forcefully as I, like, I would have liked to see seen you. Mm -hmm. And so I'm putting you on probation, but I want you tomorrow, I want you to think about this tonight, but tomorrow, tell me, present to me if you want to, whatever you want to do to tell me from your heart why you think you are the All-American Girl. She wants me to be more assertive, so I guess I just have to be more assertive. We'll see. Next up is gymnast Tara. I think that you have it, but I want to see it more pronounced, you know? So I'm going to put you on probation, and tomorrow I'm going to hear from you why you think you're the All-American Girl. I don't know what I would have done in her position. We've got four strong competitors. But um, it's, it's her decision, and she's the expert. Next, it's decision time for John Sally. First up is pageant girl Shauna. Because there's certainly a lot more here, a lot more substance I know than just this pretty face. I got to put somebody on probation, so I'm going to put you on probation. OK. So tomorrow, you have to come back, and you have to do a presentation in front of me, and you have to impress the mess out of me. Remember. It's an individual sport. Got it. She takes uh, criticism 
as if, you know, you're just, you're just paying more attention to me, as opposed to you're looking down on me, and that's gonna help. As Shauna comes to grips with her situation, Ashley is hoping that John can see her potential despite her limited performance talents. You know, I was concerned about you from the start. Uh, getting you on my team was, was a shot I took, and you've been surprising me. I think you got what it takes. So I'm going to put you on to the final stages of all of America. <laughs> just like you kept surprising me. I will keep surprising you. Keep surprising me. I'm full surprise. Next, it's Shannon's turn, and she's been a great all-rounder throughout the competition. You know, I told you you were doing everything perfect. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put you all the way through. Thank you. All right? Thank you. Let's go and bounce. It's the moment of truth for Andrea as she faces John again. Why do we always have these conversations? I don't know, man. At the start of the competition, Andrea wasn't picked, but she got a second chance. Who do you want on your team? Andrea. But tonight, can she get through to the finals? I don't know what it is, but I know you think I'm extra hard on you, but it only makes you stronger. Okay. And, uh... You know, I just got to know that I got the right person, the right three, because I got to pick somebody. So I'm going to put you on probation. When I saw Shauna, she was on the fence, and I had to put her on probation, and she had to impress me. She was like, okay. When I tell Andrea, she sulks, and she feels that, oh, woe with me, sorry thing. And that was kind of disheartening, but I had to tell her, you know, lift it up. I said, no, don't take it that way. Take it as a challenge. Don't take it as I'm knocking you down. These six girls are now through to the finals of All-American Girl, where they will be judged by the American public. The other six are on probation. This means that they have to prepare a one-minute plea for their coaches, explaining why they should stay in the competition. Once the coaches have heard the pleas, three girls will go on to the finals and three girls will be sent home. Coming up, is Andrea's plea enough to keep her in the competition? I will push, I will drive, and I will win. And the tensions between the girls return in a twist that will devastate some and delight others. Yay! ...to the finals. But for the remaining six on probation, Tomorrow is their last chance to prove themselves with a one-minute plea to their coaches. And preparations have already begun. I'm kind of nervous. It's not a fun situation to be in. I obviously want to go out with a bang and to really try to decide in my speech how I want to portray that. I'm just going to write down some of my thoughts and kind of go over my speech in my mind and just kind of prepare myself for tomorrow. I, I have to write a really good speech because this really is my last chance. The big day has arrived, and while the finalists can relax, the others must prepare for their crucial plea. But can they deliver what the coaches are looking for? The decision I have to make has to be based upon who I feel has the strength and the toughness and the courage and, and the valor to go on and be the All-American girl. Who's got the biggest heart and who can show themselves most honestly and sincerely? When it gets down to just the way someone is, how they how they affect you, uh, their magnetism. Carrie goes first, with Suzanne's words from last night still ringing in her ears. Just want to see you a little bit more aggressive, you know, just a little bit more out there. When I came to this competition and it began, I almost left the first day because I was just so nervous and all the girls were so beautiful and multi-talented and I thought of myself as just a singer. And I'm so glad that I've stayed because I've come to realize that I'm not. I'm so much more than that. I've gone through like a tremendous change from the time that I started and the time, you know, that I'm at now. And I just feel so blessed, you know, to have grown so much. I'm really pleased with what you had to say. And for the first time, Carrie, I think I saw the real you. I'm really happy about that. So. Thank you. I feel really good about it, you know, and she told me that it was the first time she felt like she really saw me, you know, for who I was, and so I'm glad I told her, you know, what I really thought. Next, Tara knows what she must do to win Suzanne over. 
I think that you have it, but I want to see it more pronounced. I just think that now is my time to really show her that I'm a valuable asset to this team. I'm a great dancer and I have a good voice, although I just need to find my style. And I've got a lot of athletic training that helps me and I'm academically well-rounded as well. And um, I think I have a lot of potential that if I could just channel in the right direction, my talent would just shine through into a beautiful, classy end product. Very nice. Thank you. Lovely. If I had done this again, I could have done it differently, but not necessarily any better. I think, I mean, I knew in my mind kind of what I was going to say and did my very best. So it's a pickle. They both follow direction beautifully and have made it that much more difficult for me. Next are John's girls. So I'm in a tight situation, but I'm not gonna flip a coin. I'm gonna go with my heart. Andrea goes first. Now, I was put on probation because you really haven't got to see who I am. But I guarantee that if I move on to the next round, you will see who I am. And when I do move on to the next round, I will excel, I will succeed, I will push, I will drive, and I will win. And I give you my promise, I give you my word that I will not let you or this nation down. I will never quit. And that's why I'm the All-American Girl. Okay. I give you my answer tonight. Yeah. I feel like crying because I did so good. I connected with him, you know? Shauna's style is completely different. Her plea is written and very well rehearsed. John, I know how lucky I am to be here, how far I've made it. But I also know I've taken a major chance. I'm letting you, myself, and all of America see my flaws. An all-American girl has to have a heart and soul. But right now, you're going to see my heart. And this heart has a lot of hope, but more importantly, pride. Because I'm standing here, and I know I'm representing all American girls. The four-year-old playing in the sandbox and the congresswoman passing the bill. And that means I have substance. I am your all-American girl with substance and a smile. Okay, thank you for making my decision tonight. Overall, um, I don't know what John was thinking, but quite frankly, I don't really care because I know what I was thinking. I'm just going to go with my gut feeling. And I'm going to get up and walk away because I don't want to... I don't want to cry on an all-American girl. It's now time for Jessica and Christy to put aside their friendship and focus on the competition. You speak from your heart and tell me exactly what you feel and why you think you are the All-American girl, why you want to be on my team. After Jerry's request last night, Christy is ready to deliver. I have a minute to crack open my heart and show you my insides. And um, I, I want to stand here in front of you completely vulnerable and, and naked so that you can see who I am, really. Um, there was a time when I was younger and I was very naive and I was very trusting and I had an open heart and it got burned so badly. I put up a wall and I just used whatever else, some sort of entertaining thing to not let someone get too close to me. And I'm tired of that. So here I am. I'm standing in all my imperfection and all my vulnerability. Um, and my God, it's so scary. <laughs> but. I'm here and I'm doing this, and, and I want to change, and I want to grow, and you've inspired me to do that. And I think that's what the All-American Girl is about completely. Thank you. You know, it takes a lot of courage and humility to try and pour out your heart and say how you feel. Now that it's Jessica's turn, she's had a last-minute change of strategy, throwing away her prepared speech and choosing to speak from her heart. This is very uncharacteristic of me to go into something not really knowing what I'm going to say. I really still believe there's a barrier that I want to be knocked down. When I was a little girl, my dad always used to tell me that I was the carpenter of my own life and that everything that I did built my life to what I would be doing tomorrow, my attitudes and, and the choices that I made. 
Bible. And um, he always talked about having a solid foundation. And that's what I am all about, the foundation of family values and integrity, kindness to other people. In my heart of hearts, I, tr I really truly believe that, that I have what it takes. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's not in my hands anymore. So it's kind of a good feeling to know, but um, I think Jerry has a really tough decision to make. I'm absolutely torn, and I know why I'm torn now. Because the girls that I've chosen have related to it at quite a deep level. Christy is the girl that is in me that is struggling and wants to be a better person. And yet Jessica is the person that I would want to be. Coming up, the coaches make their heartbreaking final decision. It really grieves me that I have to make this choice. But for everyone, there's a twist you won't believe. My heart just is killing me. The girls' pleas have been made, and once again, it's time for the coaches to make another agonizing cut. It's a decision all the coaches are finding hard to make, but the time to make it has come. First up, John Sally has to decide between Andrea and Shauna. I told you last night to knock my socks off. And I feel that you guys came in with some really strong points. Out of both speaking to me, one of you got to my heart. Uh, something you said, and I know it was a tough thing to do. I give you my word that I will not let you or this nation down. Right now you're going to see my heart. And this heart has a lot of hope. The one that hit my heart with their speech was Andrea. Thank you. It's okay. No, I'm fine. Would I have made the same decision? Of course not. Absolutely not. But that's his decision, and that's his... I mean, who am I to say it's not fair? I mean, come on. She's done pageants. She's used to speaking in front of people. She's used to memorizing things, and that's not really what John wanted. So I threw away my old speech, the speech that I had memorized, and just talked from my heart. With Shauna's elimination, John's team is now down to three. Next up, Suzanne must make her cut and choose between Tara and Carrie. I first want to say how really proud I am of all four of you. Carrie, I was really, really impressed with you today. I thought you were just stellar. I just feel so blessed, you know, to have grown so much. And I think that's what the competition's about. I've felt for the first time you spoke from your heart. And I was terribly moved by what you said. And Tara, I asked you to be more assertive. And you were. I think I have a lot of potential that if I could just channel in the right direction, my talent would just shine through. My dilemma has been that when you suggest something to someone and they do it, and they do it beautifully, and you still have to choose, that is so terribly hard for me. I've decided that Tara will go on and Carrie, I'm going to excuse you, but I really am very, very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Tara's overwhelmed to have made it through. But for Carrie, elimination is a bitter pill to swallow. Well, Suzanne told me that I did, you know, what she asked, and so um, I was still cut, you know? So, I mean, that kind of sucks and you know, obviously, I mean, oh, I, I know she had to make the decision, but um, I, God, I don't even know what to say. Meanwhile, on Jerry's team, winning is the furthest thing from their minds. Jessica and Christy know that whatever happens, their friendship is about to be torn apart. Well, it's crunch time, and um, it comes down to, you know, Christy and, and Jessica, both very talented singers on the personality stakes equal. I, I want to stand here in front of you completely vulnerable. In my heart of hearts, I, tr I really truly believe that, that I have what it takes. You both made it very, very hard for me because I love you both. 
I have to tell you, it is as close as like a photo finish in a race. It's just that close. You know, so each of you should not feel bad, whoever walks away. Jessica, I picked you off the bat. You know, you were one of my first choices. You've been stunning all the way, full of grace and full of charm. Um, Christy, you know that you were not my first choice. Um, you know that I had someone else on my list, so then I went back to you. And I don't know how that felt, to, to know that. If I knew that, I'd be carrying that with me, thinking, oh, I'm not quite good enough. Uh, and, and that's why I think you really came through. And that's why I'm going to take you. And with that, Jessica is eliminated. I think I'm in shock, <laughs> pretty much. But, um, I had an awesome time. To, I, beyond my wildest dreams. I made it. But my heart just is killing me because Jessica's not coming with me. She's my best friend here. It's okay. Because you're awesome. <laughs> But what Christy and all the girls don't realize is that this round of the competition is far from over. Coming up, an incredible twist on All American Girl. Welcome back to All American Girl. Even with the eliminations complete, this night is far from over. We've reached the final stage of the competition. Nine girls remain, three of you have been cut. But I've got some news for you. We need 10 girls to complete the final stages of the All-American Girl, which means that one of you will get to re-enter the competition and rejoin your coach's team. The decision on who that girl will be will not go to the coaches. Their tough calls are done. The nine girls who made it tonight will vote one of you back in a secret ballot. Each of you have a few minutes to decide which of these girls will be brought back. The girls will now vote for who they want back in the competition. When the votes are tallied, the most popular girl will go to the finals. For Shauna, Jessica, and Carrie, it's come down to how popular they are with their former teammates. The secret ballot begins with Suzanne's team. Carrie was eliminated. But will her teammates show loyalty and vote her back in? Hi, Tara. Hi. I vote for Carrie the most. Carrie, I want her to stay. I think Carrie should stay because she's on my team and she has great potential. Suzanne's team has voted for their old teammate to rejoin them. After earlier losing Jessica, the next team to vote is Jerry's. Um, the person I would most like to stay is Jessica. I'm voting Jessica number one. I genuinely love Jessica and I want her back in the competition. I think she deserves to. Once again, all the girls have been loyal to their ex-teammate. So the vote comes down to John Sally's team. After yesterday's tensions with Shauna, will they show the same loyalty to their eliminated teammate? Shauna is being like a my way or the highway Gestapo. Every single time I've tried to say something, I've always been interrupted. This is where you see um, the other sides of people's personalities coming out. The person I want the most here is Jessica. With that, Jessica goes one vote ahead. Shannon votes next. My decision is going to be Carrie for my first choice. And now, Carrie has tied the vote. It's down to the wire, and Andrea's vote is crucial. You made up your mind? Yes, I have. The person who I would most like to stay Girls? You have all voted on whom you would like to join you in the final round. Only one of you can enter the final stages of the competition. And I have to tell you, Shauna, you came in last and vote. Thank you so much for everything you've brought to the competition. Jessica and Carrie, the vote was very close, but I'm afraid only one of you can make it through to the next round. The girl who got the most votes was Jessica. <laughs> It's a special moment for Jerry's girls, especially for Christy, as Jessica rejoins the team. Guess what? I made it! 
no. Oh my gosh. I'm not lying. No. I love you too. So now we know the identities for the 10 finalists for All-American Girl. On Suzanne's team, linguistics major Natalie White from Anderson, Indiana. Gymnast Tara Page from Mesa, Arizona. And aspiring actress Allie Hotmer, Westchester, Pennsylvania. On Jerry's team, singer and communications graduate Jessica Felice from Columbus, Ohio. Vocal teacher Christy Foster from Kerrville, Texas. Pageant girl Monica Palumbo from Charlotte, North Carolina. And athlete and musician Kira Posell from Austin, Texas. On John's team, dancer Shannon McConnell from Antioch, California. Veterinary assistant Andrea Lynham from Riverdale, New York. And volleyball player Ashley Escada from Redlands, California. ABC Tomorrow at 9, 8 Central, a special reunion on The Bachelor, Where Are They Now? Next week on All American Girl, everything changes. In front of a live studio audience, the girls compete to prove to you that they have the charisma, talent, and drive to be the All American Girl. The challenges get tougher. At the beginning of the day, I was like, this is no problem, but everything's changed. The tension gets higher. I'm not going to risk my life. I'm not going to. There can only be one winner. I felt like it took me like 10 years to get back to, to shore. Your vote will decide. Oh,